We'll guide you through how to send a WhatsApp message with Excel. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. There are many different things you can do with this. I'm just giving you an example in this video. And what I'm doing is gonna be doing a meeting date reminder, but you could do a payment reminder and all sorts of different things. So in the message, I want to go and have the name, the meeting dates, and of course, we'll embed the number as well for actually sending the message in the link part. But first of all, we're writing the message. So come into your message column, or you can make one, type in equals, then put in quotation marks and start writing what you wanted to say. So I wanted to go and say hi, I'll then put a space and I want to put their name in. So I'll put quotation marks, the and symbol, and the cell where the name is, which is A2, and then I'll put an and sign and more quotation marks. And I'll then go and continue the message. Now I want to go and get the meeting date. So I'm gonna go and put quotation marks, then the and symbol and B2 then the and symbol and more quotation marks. And then I'll go and finish it there. I'll need to put in another quotation mark as we started with one as well. I'll then go and press enter. And as you can see, we've now generated a message. Now come into link. We can then repeat this for the entire list. So come to the bottom right of the cell, it will change to a cross and click, hold and drag down. And it'll then go and populate with the name and the day. Now we're going to start on the link. So what you then need to do is type in equals and hyperlink like so open brackets and type in quotation marks. And then you need to type in HTTPS colon slash slash web dot WhatsApp dot com slash send question mark phone equals. And we now need to go and select the column that the number is in. So what you need to do is go and put quotation marks, the and symbol, and then the cell, which is C2 and then we need to put in the and symbol and the quotation mark again. And we now need to type in what we want the text to go and say in the message. So go and put in an and, and you need to go and put in text equals, and then we need to type in the cell which the message is in, which is D2. So quotation marks, then and D2, then the and symbol again and more quotation marks. Finish off with another quotation mark and a close bracket and that's it. Now go and click on the link like so, and WhatsApp will go and open up. The first time you do this, you need to sign in. So come onto your phone. On an Android, go to the chat screen and go to the top right and click on the three dots and settings. On an iPhone, go to the bottom right and click on settings, then link devices. Then click on link device and go and scan the QR code like so, and you'll be logged in. And the chat will then be made with the number and the message will appear in the chat box and you can then go and send it like so. So it's super quick. All you need to do is press the send button and the message will be sent. Of course, you can then return to WhatsApp, go to the bottom right of the cell, hover your cursor there so you see the cross and click hold and drag and the links will then go and be populated. And you can go through and click on each one and go and send the message super quickly.